Hi everyone, it's Erin Hilliard here with another episode of Pinch Gut at Home. Except today I'm not at home, nor am I at the conservatorium. I'm actually here in my office at the Opera Centre uh, in Surrey Hills in Sydney. It's just recently reopened and it's a great pleasure to be back here in my office, surrounded by my books and my music, and most importantly, my harpsichord. Today I wanted to play a short piece by an exceptional composer of the 17th century, and that's Elizabeth Jacquette de la Guerre. She's an extraordinary musician. She was born into a family of musicians, and her musical training was nourished uh, and supported by her father. Uh, as a young adult, it was very clear that Elizabeth was going to be a phenomenal composer and performer, particularly on the harpsichord. She was born in what is now the fourth arrondissement, in Paris, uh, Saint Louis en Lille, and she remained quite unusually in Paris for the remainder of her life. Once the court moved to Versailles, she remained in Paris and she gave concerts and taught and published uh, to great acclaim. I'd like to play a very short uh, and beautiful Chacon from her first publication in 1687, her Pièce de Clavecin. Uh, she's following in very um, uh, very, very influential footsteps here with this this publication. Chabonnière and Danglebert uh, were the only other composers to have published in this genre. And her first professional foray into the world of harpsichord music is, is very fine indeed. The Chacon, of course, as I've discussed in my previous episodes, was brought to France by Louis XIV's guitar teacher, Francesco Corbetta, in the 1650s. And so in the 1680s, it had only been around for about 30 years, but it was immensely popular. And if you've heard my podcast now on The Lament, uh, you might remember from that podcast that just as many laments were based on the descending tetrachord, so too did some of the chacons have the tetrachord as their basis for repetition. And in this chacon, you'll hear an inversion of the tetrachord um, that Elizabeth uses. It's in A minor, just like the Louis Ross, uh, Luigi Rossi Passacai that I played earlier. It's a beautiful work. If you don't know Elizabeth Jacquette de la Guerre, do check her out. There's some beautiful recordings. Um, and also she has done a beautiful opera that one day I hope to perform. <laughs> 